Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we are going to talk about delay, delay in the RAM. So if you are latency, whatever you want to, to call it. So if you have to go to the computer shop or someplace and you want to know, oh, what is this number? So the 1919, 19, for instance, 39, it says CL, CL and you see all those numbers and you have no clue what is this about so i'm going to explain you this so as, as usual if this is the first time that you are watching one of my videos i recommend you to start from the beginning so you can go to the playlist on youtube and then you can start from the beginning so you're, you're going to understand this video is for those people who wants to learn or for those people who wants to learn and get the certification Comtia A+. So I'm going to show you here right uh, right quick the RAM that I have here. So you're going to see this number that I was uh, telling you before. So this is the, what I have in the whiteboard. For for instance, this is the latency CL191939 or here you have another RAM. In this case, we have a DDR3. Uh, DDR4, but it doesn't matter. I mean, in the future, you are going to see DDR5, 6, 7, 8, or whatever version uh, they are going to to come in the in the future. But basically, it's the it's the same thing. So as as you can see here, it says latency. It says 11. So you are going to see in this case, it's just a regular RAM. I mean, it's not for for gamers or for those people who wants to overclock their system. And this kind of RAM, yes, this is this RAM is for those who wants who wants to overclock the, their system that is why you have all the the data i mean you have more usually i mean for regular computers i mean regular ram you're going to see latency x whatever maybe one number like you see here and uh, if the manufacturer wants to give you more information they are going to give you all this data so here in this case uh, you're going to see just uh, four numbers and, and that's it 19 19 19 39 so as you, as you can see here but uh, in some cases you're going to see the command rate like i say i'm going to explain you it is uh, usually is t1 or t2 so the the number when the number is the the smaller the faster is going to to be the the run but i'm going to explain you all those things because if you go to the computer shop or someplace best buy and the salesman they're, they're going to push you a little bit to say no buy this one the the latency is lower this is going to be faster and all the things and you you may not uh, understand everything if you don't understand everything so that is why i'm, I'm making this this video so uh, I'm going to explain. I mean, what is the latency? Latency, I mean, is is the time that it takes the computer to, or in this case, the RAM, to give you the information. So you give the the RAM X command, and then the the memory will take few nanoseconds in uh, provide you with the information that that you want. So basically. That is how it works, but uh, inside of the memory, you're going to have like many, many um, different delays. Uh, here, I'm going to explain you just the, the basics, the ones that you're going to find in the in the box. I mean, there are more. I mean, if you want to search ab about that, uh, you can leave me a comment uh, on, on YouTube. Um, in this case, I'm going to give you just one example. So I hit the whiteboard. So you hear you hear a, a noise so there is a delay so between i hit the whiteboard and then the noise or the sound is going to go to the mic here or that i am I'm, I'm wearing or in the camera so it will take a while or if i say okay my hand is here and if i lift it up it will take maybe a few seconds so that is the the delay even when you are when you're walking or something like that or you're thinking oh i'm going to walk okay it's not instantaneously so with the computer it is it's the same thing so everything even if it takes like nothing almost because it's nanoseconds 
uh, it, it takes it takes time so every, everything takes time even if the time in this case is, is very little so I uh, will I'm going to sh uh, show you here we have two different kind of uh, uh, RAM so usually uh, I mean in the old system you are going to have the asynchronous RAM and here we have in this case is the synchronous RAM so uh, one is the, I mean, if you want to know more about the synchronous and asynchronous RAM, like I said before, I recommend you to start from the beginning. So that way you're going to see all the, the class. So in, in this case, we have the clock cycle when the, when the RAM try to access the when the computer when the CPU, or in this case, the memory controller tries to reach some data from the RAM, I mean, there are, there are going to be few clock cycles. And so that, uh, that clock cycle is the, the time basically, but you're going to have two, two kind of times usually. So don't, 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 don't get confused with the, with the clock cycle because the clock cycle is not the same as, as time. So if you want to, if you want to measure the, the RAM, so make sure that you're going to measure it by the times, uh, by the time, I mean, in this, in this case, uh, nanoseconds, that would be the, the best option. Otherwise, you're, you're going to see when you, you buy a memory with high frequency, you're going to have more uh, time cycles. And why is that? Because the frequency is higher, so you, you, have, you can uh, have more cycles inside of that frequency and when they usually when the frequency is, is lower in DDR3 as you as you saw uh, before yeah the, um, the the cycles are going to be smaller or, or less in, in this case in less quantity so we saw uh, the um, the PNY the, the, that brand the, it was a DDR3 of course the frequency was lower uh, the CL was 11 and in this case we have faster uh, RAM, but it's 19. So that is one of the things that you have to think uh, about. Uh, and uh, another thing that is, is very important is when you are working with a, with a motherboard. So when you're working with the motherboard, just make sure that the motherboard will work with the, uh, with the latency of the RAM. So as usual, I recommend you to go uh, grab the, the manual or go online or whatever try to see the list of memories that are accepted by the motherboard and uh, try to use those ones and you will be okay. So if you go to the BIOS of the, of the motherboard, you're going to see uh, this SPD. Well, if you're wa wondering on what does it mean? Okay, it's serial presence detect. So the RAM, it will have like a small ROM inside that uh, it will tell the system what kind of latency is, is going to be proper use by the motherboard. I mean, if you leave it by automatically, you are going to see that the system will assign the latency that is right for the, for the motherboard. If you want to play with this, you want like uh, overclock the, the computer and, and all the things, yes, you can disable it and you can leave it on manual. And once you leave it on manual, you, you can start playing with all these uh, delays and you can go lower. You can increase maybe a little bit more of uh, the voltage. Uh, you can increase also the frequency of the RAM and other things. I mean, those are for en enthusiasm uh, people who wants to, you know, tinkering the, the computer and try to get the, the most, uh, performance that, that you can with the with the computer I mean with the with the system I mean if you usually you have to make sure they are they are not that you're not going to avoid the warranty and also if you're going to over overclock and also when you start doing the, all the things sometimes the um, lifetime is are is going to decrease so the, the, those are the things that you're going to to keep in mind so let's start with the CL CL is uh, ca a CAS latency, so CAS latency. So this is the, the time that it takes between the computer gives the signal to the one of the pins or the connectors of the RAM until the RAM gives the, the data. So to start all over again, or to say it in, in another way is 
the time you give the information to the RAM and the RAM uh, returns the, the, um, the data. So basically that is what it means. So is, that is the, the basics. So um, we have the other latency TRCD is RAS to CAS. So if you're wondering what does it mean? Okay, here it, is, it has been written. So CAS means column array strobe. And RAI, uh, RAS means the almost the same thing, but with the raw. So it's raw uh, array strobe. So that is what, what it means. So in this case, we are going to have the latency between, for, let's say we have an, an address, uh, the address, the memory address. We have the memory address, let's say it is 1003. And we have the cell one here. And then let's say the time that it takes between it found this and found this. So between the column and the row. And we have the next uh, delay here. The uh, it is RAS precharge. So the precharge, and I, I wrote here to the new row. So basically, it's, between, it's the time that it takes between precharging uh, pre one of the, of the lines and getting the new row is between jumping from one to the next row so you can access the, the, the data. And the, the next is T RAS active pre, uh, pre-charge delay. So basically here is the between the, the new command, the active command, the active command and the pre-charge of the new uh, line so in this case is what what i just said is between it makes in the system issues the active command and it will precharge then the next step and we have a, the cdm is a command rate like i said before is one or two basically uh, that um, the number means is the time between the controller send the information to the RAM. Basically, that is what it, it, it means. So it's, you have the controller and you have to send a, a command to the, the module in this, in this case. And that time is usually one or two. So basically, that is what, what it means. So be, uh, the class was easy in this, in this case. So if you want uh, to know more or if you want to learn more about how to become a computer technician, you can buy my classes in my website, kavakusa.com. Also, if you want to see my other uh, computer classes, you can go over there and uh, learn from the playlist or in my website. So as usual, thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, click in the little gear. So that way, every time I upload a video, your uh, YouTube will let you know send, by sending you an email. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. I'm going to give you a bonus. So now I'm going to teach you something, something else so you can know the true latency. So there is a company called Crucial. So they are a manufacturer of memory and SSD and, uh, and other things. So I'll leave you in the video description the URL so that way you can visit their website. And the good thing about uh, that is that they are going to tell you once you download their small software what uh, kind of RAM you have to install in your motherboard so that way you, 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 sh you can just perform a few clicks and then you're going to be able to buy the the RAM. So in this case, uh, if you want to know the true latency, this is the formula. This, like I said before, it's going to be in the URL that I'm going to leave you in the video description. Basically, is the true latency is equal to clock cycle time. This is in nanoseconds. Remember, that is very important. Times the number of clock cycles. That is the CL, like I show you here before. So CL six or nine. So depending on this of the latency of the RAM. So that is the, the formula. So here you're going to see like a small chart that, that you're going to see the, the speed of the, the RAM. So usually you're going to see that even when it jumps from DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, the, the latency is kind of the, the same, it's, it's very similar. Also, uh, I mean, remember that uh, over time you're going to get a, a 
or another tiny uh, another type of ram like ddr4 i mean like ddr5 6 or 7 of course and basically it will stay about the the same so i hope uh, this video was useful as, as usual i hope you have enjoyed it and see you next class bye